Hi guys, I'm Neha and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel about technology. So guys, in this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about lexical analysis. Lexical analysis is the first phase of compiler design. This phase is scan the input string from the source program and convert that string into number of tokens. To know more about lexical analysis, let's proceed with the video. Before proceeding further, let us discuss some terminologies that we come across while discussing lexical analysis. Lexeme, it is a sequence of characters that form a specific pattern and that pattern can be recognized as a token. Pattern of a lexeme explain what kind of token it can form, like some specific pattern form keyword, some specific pattern form constant, some form identifier, some separator, etc. Token, a lexeme with a valid pattern is recognized as a token. A well-formed token can either be identifier, operator, constant, keyword, literal, separator or a special character. Being the first phase of the compiler, lexical analysis is the process of tokenization. Input to lexical analyzer is the source program and output of lexical analyzer are group of tokens. Lexical analyzer consists of two consecutive processes that is a scanning and lexical analyzing. Scanning eliminates the non-token element from the input string of the source program. Non-token elements are nothing but comments, white spaces, etc. Now the lexical analysis phase perform tokenization on the input string delivered by scanner and produce tokens. Next we'll be discussing about the role of lexical analyzer. Remember that the lexical analyzer generates token only when parser command it to do so. Parser command lexical analyzer by sending get next token command. As soon as lexical analyzer receives the get next token command, it starts scanning the input string of the source program character by character until it recognizes a lexeme whose pattern can be converted into tokens. These tokens are now forwarded to syntax analyzer or parser. Apart from producing tokens, lexical analyzer store information about the identifier in symbol table. This information in symbol table helps in determining the tokens. It also helps in relating the error messages and expanding macros used in source program. Knowing the responsibilities of lexical analysis, let us figure out an example of lexical analyzer. Consider that the lexical analyzer has to process this input string. After processing this input string, the token generated by lexical analysis phase are printf that is a keyword open parenthesis that is a special character, a literal, a separator, an identifier, a special character and again a separator. So I hope you might have get a clear picture of how lexical analyzer break the input string into group of tokens. Now let us proceed with the lexical errors. Lexical analyzer alone cannot determine the error in the source program. But in some situation where the lexical analyzer gets stuck and is unable to proceed, we refer it as lexical error. Such situation can be long identifier names, too long numerical literals, misspelled token, badly formed numerical literal, input character sequence that does not belong to the source language. To overcome these lexical errors, lexical analyzer has implemented some recovery methods. Let us view them one by one. The first method is panic recovery mode. Here, the lexical analyzer deletes successive characters from lexeme until a valid token is recognized. Consider a lexeme integer. Now, the lexer will start deleting the successive character until it recognizes a valid token. It will delete R to see if the remaining lexeme can form a valid pattern it doesn't form. So, it will delete E, it will delete G and finally it will delete E. So, the remaining lexeme INT form a valid pattern which is a keyword. Secondly, a lexer can eliminate the first character from the lexeme to get a valid pattern. Consider a lexeme AINT where if the lexer deletes the first character, the remaining lexeme INT form a valid pattern that can be converted into token. Third, a lexer can identify a missing character and insert it to form a valid pattern that can be converted into token. Say we have a lexeme IT, so lexer identifies that N is missing, so Lexer will put N in between IT which makes a valid token INT. Fourth, a Lexer can replace character to get a valid token. So for Lexeme INC, if Lexer replaces C with T, it forms a valid pattern INT. Fifth, 
transpose the position of adjacent characters to get a valid token. So, for Lexim NIT, if the Lexer transpose I with N, it will get a valid pattern INT. So, this is all about lexical analysis. For more details, you can refer our official website binaryterms.com. I had provided URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then, take a good care of yourself.